Well, we're just days away from the start of high school football season. Last week, Ohio Governor DeWine gave the green light for fall sports, but under specific guidelines. First News reporter Brooke Minahan has more on how schools are adjusting just ahead of kickoff. There's nothing like the start of high school football in Ohio, but with COVID-19 still in play, things are going to look a lot different this season. I just hope everyone stays safe and we can get through it like we're trying. Fitch kicks off against rival Boardman Friday night and what normally draws a large crowd will be limited to 1,500 fans. Now school leaders are making sure they're following every other guideline too. We have a new parking plan where we're trying to keep our visiting teams over in one section entering and our, our home to split that up because once you get into the stadium, there'll be some closed sections where you're not allowed to go. Social distancing continues inside the stadium where red circles will be spread out at the ticket lines and concession stands. Certain seats will be blocked off with red tape. School leaders are also making sure social distancing is practiced for sports inside the gym, but in a unique way. Leftover turf was put down to prevent people from sitting in certain spots. The sign simply says, please stay off the grass. So don't sit on the grass, you got to sit on an open spot. So it's yeah. kind of creative, it's kind of cool. Come Friday night, there will also be about half a dozen people walking around to ensure safety measures are being followed. Teachers, coaches, those ones that aren't afraid to walk up to someone and say, hey, please put your mask on, or hey, can you please move over? You're not in an assigned seat you should be in. Governor DeWine said a variance in the order lets schools request more fans by submitting a plan to their local health department. Fitch is painting red circles around the stadium fence for standing room, which would allow about 50 to 100 more people to attend. In Austin Town, Brooke Meanahan, WKBN 27 First News.